Well, the holiday season can be an exciting and joyous time, but for some, it can also be a painful reminder. The nonprofit Operation Ornaments aims to help families from around the state who have been impacted by natural disasters. Operation Ornaments has volunteers from all over the state. This year, more than 50,000 ornaments were gathered to help spread holiday cheer to families impacted by disaster. They can send their love in the form of an ornament. Operation Ornaments is just into its fifth year. The organization just recently became a nonprofit, and their mission to spread joy in the midst of a natural disaster remains more prominent than ever. We collect homemade ornaments from around the world so that we can distribute them to families who have lost everything or been impacted by natural disasters. Laura Davis, the co-founder of the nonprofit, says it is still surreal at times seeing how much the organization has grown. When people have a natural disaster, the first thing they do is they need to replace their clothing and their food and their housing and stuff, and they really don't think about the ornaments. This year, more than 50,000 ornaments were sent to the organization from different parts of the world. This year we did 1,700 plus. Two sisters-in-law have been helping the organization by making ornaments since the beginning. We have a routine. She does a base coat. I do the detail. She does the bagging, putting the um, tag. tag inside, and um, finishes it off. Another volunteer says her dad has had one of the roughest years, losing her mom and also losing his home in a fire. She says Operation Ornaments is also helping brighten his holiday season. When Laura said that I got to specifically handpick a bag for him, it became very personal. And so this is very special to me as well. This year, Operation Ornaments sent ornaments to various states like Mississippi, Iowa, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and even sent some to Bowling Green and Fort Campbell. You're not forgotten. Um, there is love and people want to help in whatever way they can. Laura adds that she hopes her project continues growing, but also understands the demands of a nonprofit and also wishes organizations will join her efforts one day. This is just one way we can show some love and connect people who want to serve with people who need a little bit of service, especially at the holidays, to lift them and bring them hope. And Davis says there are some already hoping to send their handmade ornaments for next year. She says the job is rewarding, but it is also demanding, especially financially. If you'd like to learn more or want to get involved, you can click on this story on our website at WTVQ.com.